and I'm Ari. This week on KCTV, we have poetry workshop, DIY stress ball, park design thing, Casey's Got Talent, leadership wall, new water fill station, conference of world affairs, spring holidays, bloopers, and birthdays. Let's, Let's get on with this week's episode. So we're gonna write. You guys are gonna write. I remember poems today, and we're gonna. I'm gonna read a couple examples from my phone. It says Walker. So like for example, one of them is. This is from Angie Morrison in 12th grade, so a high schooler. I remember being pulled in a little red wagon, watching the leaves flutter on the trees. I remember my sister stealing a banana from home and running away on her blue bike. So this is my teacher, Ms. Wheeler. She's just going to be recording us for something that we do called KCTV. Um, don't worry about that. TV? No, it's going to be a for our school. It's true. It's like the newspaper. Yeah. Does anybody want to share what they said? Yeah. I went to the park. You went to the park. That's awesome. You ready? Is read a few examples of I remember poems. So you guys are in third grade, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. This is also by a third grader. It says, I remember the time when I was riding in an airplane, and I was scared because I didn't want it to wreck. So I looked out the window and I saw blue skies and little islands, and it made me relax. So does anybody hear it? Yeah. Uh, yes. I got a name. Go ahead. Yeah. How many? Casey, I'm AJ. And I'm Melius. Today we're going to be making a stress ball with some flour, balloons, three of them, and a funnel. Let's go do it. Okay. okay, so the first step we got is we have to blow these balloons up just a little bit. So there we have it. Now we're going to put the funnel in here. Okay. Do that. Just take okay. it in. All right. Now, we're going to fill it up with some flour. Oh, yeah. So now we have this balloon filled up with flour, and we're going to seal it off with another two balloons, okay? You have a beautiful stretch bowl. Okay. Okay, so we finally finished, and this is what we've got. We've got a green stress ball. It's pretty fun. It's small. Um, and we tried not to make a mess, but, uh, you know, it's stuff happens. Um, so it was messy, but it was a lot of fun, and now I'm stress-free. So, yeah. Hey, guys, it's Alana and Grace. Did you know that park's ending soon? For all y'all people that park, you did a great job. Doing park can really help you in your future in high school. Yeah. Yo, 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 it's Grace. And Alana, park is done. So go it in the sun. Some of us are here. So have some fun. Now we're going to leave so you guys can work. Be a good child and don't be a jerk. Woo! Thanks for watching. I'm AJ. And I'm Lainey. Last week, Miss Candyball challenged Miss Grierson's class. Let's go see what they can do. Wow, that was awesome. Good job. Miss Grierson challenged Miss Words. Can't wait to do that next week. See ya. Casey got two new water fountains, one next to the auditorium and one in the cafeteria. 
These new water fountains were installed last week. Remember to bring your water bottles that look like this instead of these ones. Then you're saving the earth. So then, these water fountains filter the water even more so it's nice and drink. And cold, so it's nice and refreshing. Next week, Casey. This year's CU Conference on World Affairs just ended. But what was it? The Conference on World Affairs is a conference open to the public where over a hundred leading experts in their fields come and give talks. Ms. Wirtz and Ms. Wheeler attended this year's conference, and we asked them a few questions about it. Cool. Hi, Casey. I'm Ms. Wirtz. What events did you attend at this year's CU Conference on World Affairs? This year I went to one workshop and it was called Schools and the Future of the American Workforce or something like that. What was it about? Well, there were three panelists who came. One is a law professor from Loyola University. One is a CU professor from the Lead School of Business. And one is a professor from Texas. And she also used to work in the Bush White House for President George W. Bush. All right. And what do you think this conference achieves on a whole? Well, the panel themselves talked about how the American education system, how it does meet and doesn't meet the needs of the growing workforce and what the youth of today really need. So I think as a whole, the conference actually allows for people from all over to come and listen to these experts who are talking about just an amazing variety of topics. That's just one. Education was just one topic. All right, thank you for your time. Hey, Casey. I'm Mia. And I'm Eva. And this week on Casey TV, we're going to be talking about some of May's national holidays. Yay! May 1st is Loyalty Day. May 14th is Mother's Day. May 29th is Memorial Day. May 5th is Cinco de Mayo. May 6th is National Nurse Day. May 20th is Armed Forces Day. May 28th is Arbor Day. Stay tuned for some more national holidays next month. Bye, Bye. Casey! Which way do you? No, 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 you do that. Are you gonna film me right now? Ah! This is yeah, so cool. Works. Eat the. Ow! <laughs> you trying to eat me! <laughs> knock, knock. Come on in, the door's open. <laughs> oh, good one, AJ. <laughs> Casey TV out!